Deshaun Watson, um, a quarterback of the American Football League. He came into the league a few years now and was really making a name for himself. He came across as a very good, upstanding citizen and like he exhibited some nice and uh, good tricks. I remember at a point in time, um, during his early, I think his first football game, he actually gave his wages to one of the workers of the in the Texas Houston Texans facility. That was a noble gesture and things were looking good for him. And on the field, he was really putting up good numbers, like good stats. He threw for a lot of yards and the number of touchdowns. He was really making a name for himself. I used to hear a lot of people raving about him, especially on Undisputed and other sports networks. But it got to a point that the Texans organization were, they were just in shambles. They were just not running things like they should. They began trading away their wide receivers, DeAndre Hopkins, and I think some other good players on the, on the squad. And at the time, they also had a really bad coach. Is it Bill O'Brien or something like that? Things were just not looking good. So Deshaun Watson decided not to play for them anymore. And after that, um, things started escalating. Women from all kinds of people were coming out from all kinds of uh, places accusing the Sean Watson of uh, sexual allegations, harassment, all kinds of things. It turns out the Sean Watson was soliciting random massage therapists. He actually goes online and solicit their services. They come to his house to massage him. And whatever happens is between him and the massage therapist. Now he got, he got in, in, in himself involved in a legal dispute and it has, uh, how do you call it, stagnated his career. This whole season has passed by and he couldn't take part in the season. He's literally put on ice and he can't play because of these, all these allegations. And it's come out that uh, he, he has actually like won his criminal, the criminal charges has been declined. That means he wouldn't be charged criminally. But there are other charges that has been like he's going to be faced in the civil courts, and that is a good thing. Hopefully, he can get back to continue his clear, his career that was trending on the on the right path. <laughs> My problem with all this is that I like how everything is turning out and things are going to look like he's going to get back to playing and he can do what he loves to do. My problem is, why would you put yourself in such a situation? That is what I can't seem to wrap my, my mind behind. You are a black man in America making a lot of money. It's almost as if he's not aware, like he has no self-awareness. Black people in America need to really cautious the way they, they move and the way they behave. Because the least thing you do is going to be magnified. It, it's just, it is what it is. It's clear as they like. A black person can do one thing, a white man can do the same thing the black person's own is going to be blown out of proportion. It has been done over and over again. So the, the wise thing to do is not to get yourself involved in things like that. And moreover, you are a professional athlete playing football, making a lot of money. Why are you conducting yourself like a, a normal citizen? You're conducting yourself like a, a normal citizen, soliciting services, random people, people you don't know. And you are, how do you call it? You are bringing them to your, your house to, to perform massages on you. Just take it, you didn't do anything to you know, you Just You're just a gentleman, didn't do anything. The fact that they are in your house, you know, that is a dangerous game you are playing. Because they can accuse you of anything, and the only person who is there to witness is, is your word against theirs. You are putting yourself as a, at a, a precarious situation. Why would you do that to yourself with all this? Uh, uh, how do you call it? Opportunities you have and all these assets you have, all this money you have, you can just move differently. Why are you not doing that? I'm just so disappointed in Deshaun Watson. Man. I used to really like this guy and was rooting for him. I wanted, him, I, I, I was, I was hoping he would even get an MVP ahead of before uh, Lamar Jackson came to get in. I was expecting him to to be in that position before Lamar Jackson came into the picture. This guy has just. It's almost tossed his career away. 
during his uh, Mahdi call, his interview after the trial, he was making mention of Jesus Christ and all those things. He looked like a religious person. So where was all this religion and this behavior when you were soliciting all these uh, massage therapists to come to your house? Why, why would you do something like that? I just I couldn't believe it. There was nothing about Deshaun Watson that made me think he was capable of doing some, making dumb moves like that. I, I just couldn't believe it. And not just one or two or even five. It was in the 20s. That means he it's like it's a lifestyle of his. Every time he's looking for the next massage therapist. Like what what is that? I just I just it's mind boggling to me. An athlete earning millions of dollars a year, and this is what you resort to. If you need the massage, is that what you resort to? Just you, you solicit random people. People with money and like opportunities like that don't trust any you can't just trust anybody. Because once you are in that position, you become a target. You are a huge, you have a huge target on your back because you have a lot of money. You have a lot of money. People are looking for you to put yourself so they can see you. They want your money. That's what you should know. How do you know? Like have such an awareness? I just, I can't believe it. And you put yourself in all these situations. Even if you're not, you're not guilty. The sheer number of people accusing you, people will just conclude you are guilty. In the, in the court of public opinion, you just conclude you are guilty because there's just too many people accusing you. You go about your day and every time you solicit a new massage therapist to come to your house to massage you. And you think that's you, you think you are doing something. Wow, I just I can't I can't I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And even if 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 he was not really aware of what he was doing, at least somebody in his circle would have like straightened him out or like shown him the right thing to do. Unless of course maybe he was hiding it from them. But it was just it was it's just uncalled for. That was not how to move, especially as a professional athlete and somebody earning millions of dollars a year. You don't move like that. That was just childish and immature, just I just I couldn't believe it. But hopefully things turn out right for him. Because right now I just I don't know where this is gonna go from here. Since he's having me, he hasn't been as uh, prosecuted in the criminal court. Hopefully things will just go go on the right path for him, and he can get back to playing. And I don't know how much rust is gonna be on him since he's not played for all this time. I don't know how much rust he's gonna have, but hopefully things turn out right for him because I really want him to succeed. I was really rooting for him, and I was just heartbroken when he did that. Just putting yourself in such a situation, just risking all this thing you work for, risking your career and all these things, just on um, some dumb um, decision you, you make. It's just disheartening. So these are my thoughts on the situation, and catch you in the next video. Bye for now.